Hello everyone, welcome to my mini education series on anatomy. Today our section will be on basic anatomical terminology. First, let's discuss what is anatomy. So when you take the word anatomy, so ana means up, the tomy means process of cutting. Right? Study of anatomy is linked at its roots to dissection of cadavers. So what is dissection of cadavers? Cadavers means dead bodies. Dissection means cutting. So cutting of dead bodies. So if basic, basically if somebody asks what is anatomy? So that means studying about body structures. When it compare with physiology, physiology means studying about body functions. Right? So how to study anatomy? First, now we should understand the medical terminology, basic anatomical terminology. Then you can study about gross anatomy and microscopic anatomy. Right? So what is gross anatomy? Gross anatomy means the structures that can be seen grossly. Right? So that means without the help of magnification. Right? Microscopic uh, Anatomy means what? So with the help of a microscope, right? There is two branches uh, you can study. So cytology means studying about cells. Then the histology means studying about tissues. So we can go one by one. And then how to study gross anatomy? So you can go regional approach. That means you can talk about the abdominal cavity. You can talk about thoracic cavity. You can talk about uh, upper limbs, lower limbs, likewise, regional. Then you have systematic approach, like for example, cardiovascular, respiratory, so lymphatic system, endocrine system, likewise you can study. Now, now we are here. Now we are studying about, today we are studying about basic anatomical terminology. That means the words, this is like a new language to you, right? So first we need to study the words, then we can go for gross anatomy and the microscopic anatomy. All right. Now let's uh, discuss about anatomical position. What is anatomical position? The anatomical position is the standard visual reference point. That means when you are talking about the anatomical part, you have to use this reference point. Otherwise, you uh, you might get a wrong answer. Okay. So what is anatomical position? So body is erect. That means the person should stand up body erect okay and the feet together feet should be parallel and feet to should be together and then arms aside and palms forward okay always the palms should be forward then arms means what so this part is the upper limb so this part is the arm this part is the forearm this part is the hand hand has the palm okay so arm arms at side then palm should be always forward okay so once again remember so anatomical position is the standard visual reference point when you are talking about uh, uh, some anatomical part you have to use this position okay. all right so now there are, i mentioned before so this is a new language for you so you should understand these basic terms. So directional terms, directions, when you are talking about directions. So, all right, now let's take two, two words together, right? So you have superior and inferior, right? So what is superior? Superior means towards the top of the body, superior, right? Then you have inferior. Inferior means what? Towards the bottom of the body. Another name for superior is Cranial, okay, cranial. Then another name for inferior is caudal, right? So again, superior means what? Towards the top of the body. Then inferior means what? Towards the bottom of the body, right? Then you have another two words, anterior and posterior. Anterior means basically front. Posterior means basically back right so what is anterior means towards the front of the body another name you call it ventral so anterior means front the posterior means back 
towards the back of the body. Another name is dorsal. Ventral and dorsal two words are also being used. Right? Then there is something called medial and lateral. So medial means what? Towards the midline of the body. Medial means what? Towards the midline of the body. Now um, lateral means what? Away from the midline of the body. Away from the midline of the body. Right? Alright. Now the two words are there. What are these two words? Proximal and distal. Right? What is proximal? Now when you are talking about uh, proximal and distal, there, there should be always be a point of attachment. Now let's take like here uh, as an example. Now let's take this shoulder as the point of attachment. Now if you are talking about uh, the the cl situated closest to the point of attachment now this arm is very close to point of attachment then you can call it th that is the proximal part right so when you're talking about distal means far away from the far away from the uh, point of attachment so this is the point of attachment far away so then the hand is distal to the this point of attachment understood there is two words proximal and distal so proximal means situated closest to the point of attachment this is the point of attachment closest to the point of attachment that is called proximal then the distal means what so far away from the point of attachment right good then you have superficial and deep like superficial means like if you take some burn or something right superficial means close to the surface of the body close to the surface of the body now if you are taking deep okay deep deep means what far far away from the surface of the body so these are the basic terms i i hope this is very clear for you all so you have superior and inferior superior means what again towards the top of the body Okay, you all can pause this video and write it down and memorize these things, right? Superior means again towards the top of the body. Inferior means towards the bottom of the body. Superior, inferior. Superior, inferior. Anterior means front. Front, back. Okay, so then medial means towards the midline. Then away from the midline you call it lateral then you have the distal and proximal distal means what when you talk about proximal and distal there should be always a point of attachment so proximal means near to the point of attachment distal means fa farthest from the point of attachment okay all right good now let's discuss about planes of the body right so you have sagittal plane transverse plane coronal plane and the oblique plane right so what is sagittal plane so sagittal plane divides the body into left and right so sagittal plane divides the body into left and right okay and then what is the transverse plane transverse plane means it divides the body into top and bottom top and bottom transverse another name for transverse plane is horizontal plane okay horizontal plane then you have a coronal plane coronal plane means it divides the body into front and back okay front and back means again anterior and posterior anterior so again i told you front means anterior so the coronal plane what does it do it divides the body into front and back okay and then uh, the there is no picture to show the oblique plane but you will get an idea so oblique means cut at an angle now for example if you cut like this okay if you cut like this then it's called oblique plane okay all right so i will repeat once again sagittal plane what does it do it divides the body into left and right okay transverse plane top and bottom the coronal plane front and back okay then the oblique plane 
that means it will cut at an angle right so uh, in the sagittal plane there is something called mid sagittal plane and the para sagittal plane so mid sagittal plane means if you divide equally into two parts into left and right okay so para sagittal means if you cut like here so it's not equally cut two sides are not equally cut that means para sagittal okay so you can always pause this video and uh, take this into your mind you can write these things don't worry this is very easy anatomy is very easy you can study like this okay right next things we are going to talk about is body cavities right now you can focus on this picture so body cavities there is always um, uh, I told you now there is a word called dorsal and ventral do you remember what is dorsal dorsal means always I told you the posterior part right the dorsal means posterior ventral means anterior right so dorsal the yellow color you can follow this dorsal body cavities what are there there you have two body cavities right dorsal means cranial cavity cranium again cranial means the skull right so it cranial cavity contains the brain right then you have the vertebral cavity vertebral cavity vertebral cavity contains the spinal cord right so there is the dorsal two dorsal cavities so the cranial cavity and the vertebral cavity then you have ventral cavities so ventral means another name what is ventral then the anterior part okay anterior parts you have the thoracic cavity and then you have the abdominal cavity and then then you have the pelvic cavity right so here you have uh, something called the diaphragm this this is the main muscle that helps you in respiration right so you know this main muscle right the diaphragm right so diaphragm divides the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity abdominal cavity you know your uh, abdominal organs digestive organs are there in the abdominal cavity okay so you should understand so i will ask you a question okay so how which which organ divides your or which muscle let's say which muscle divides your thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity so answer is diaphragm okay so then you have the pelvic cavity pelvic cavity contains the bladder the reproductive organ your rectum all right okay so don't overwhelm yourself so i will repeat again right so you have anterior anterior body cavities and then you have the posterior body cavities right what are the anterior body cavities thoracic cavity thoracic cavity means it contains heart and lungs thoracic right and then you have the abdominal cavity abdominal cavity has digestive organs then you have the pelvic cavity pelvic cavity contains your urinary bladder reproductive organs and the rectum right then you have posterior cavities posterior cavities there are two things right cranial cavity and the vertebral cavity right vertebral cavity right good right so this is also the anterior view and the lateral view right so anterior side you when you talk um, so you have the thoracic cavity you have the abdominal cavity then you have the pelvic cavity okay so here from this picture what do you have to get so for anterior another name is what ventral for posterior another name is what dorsal okay all right so now you know the cavities body cavities you can always pause this video and write it down all right good right now let's go to uh, the abdomen right so we are talking about the medical terminology so we should understand this basic terminology right you can divide your abdomen into nine regions right so you can take so then we'll take this navel area right so navel area it's called the umbilical region right umbilical region and then 
top of that you have epigastric region so gastric means the stomach is right so above the stomach then you call it epigastric region then you have hypogastric region so gastric means again stomach then hypo means below the stomach then hypo means below right or you call it pubic region also you can call it right pubic region right hypogastric region epigastric region then umbilical region umbilical means what the navel area okay then you have the right side and then you have the left side right so like right side right hypochondria hypo means what i told you there are two words hypo and hyper hypo means low hyper means going up okay chondriac means chondro means the cartilage like so here they are talking about ribs okay so below the ribs region right side below the rib region this is called right hypochondriac region again then from the left side also same thing left hypochondriac region so what is this uh, chondriac means like chondro means cartilage right so below the cartilage right below the rib cartilage so then you call it hypochondriac region then you have the lumbar where you have the kidney so lumbar area so right lumbar area and the left lumbar area then you have right iliac region okay right iliac region and the left iliac region for now just remember these things you will uh, learn this uh, later when you are talking about these things right so nine regions of abdomen these things is very important for you to um, study so if i talk about when you are talking about abdominal pain if somebody is uh, if some patient is com complaining uh, saying there is an abdominal pain so if you don't know these nine regions you will be in trouble okay so you will be in trouble right so underneath these regions you know there are some organs so it's easy for you to detect the disease all right so nine regions of abdomen i hope everybody understood this section so all right good i will give you a question what are the four abdominal uh, quadrants like uh, give me some innovative answers like you can leave your answer in the comment section okay so now let's say i will i will help you in getting the answers there is right side there is left side there is upper and there is lower likewise think can give me the answer okay so leave your answer in the comment section all right good i hope you are enjoying my lecture now let's go to anatomical language so there is lot of new words because we are learning a new language so this is the universal language for doctors nurses physiotherapists all the medical professions this is a language okay so you should understand these words without knowing these words you cannot uh, survive okay now let's take an let's talk about anatomical landmarks okay now let's take part by part let's take the head okay so cephalic cephalic means the head cephalic ko some people call cephalic okay cephalic means head right this can be divided into two parts skull and the face so skull is called cranial okay face is called facial okay then the forehead is called the frontal area this is called the frontal area okay then the nose nose is called nasal nasal okay so then you have the eyes okay then you have the eyes eyes is called ocular or orbital ocular or orbital right so then you have the ears ears is called otic okay otic acoustic okay then the the buccal right the buccal area is called the cheek okay buccal area is called the cheek okay so the mouth mouth is called oral mouth is called oral then the chin 
chin is called mental chin is called mental okay so we have new words okay we have new words what are those cephalic cranial facial frontal nasal ocular or orbital otic buccal okay so the oral and mental okay so that's the face okay and then you have cervical cervical means what neck cervical means neck now if you take the thoracic region right if you take the thoracic region thoracic means the chest thoracic thorax or chest so you have the breast breast is called mammary breast is called mammary then you have the abdominal region now we learned about nine abdominal regions and four abdominal quadrants right here the navel is called umbilical okay so navel is called the umbilical okay good right now so you have the upper limb upper limb is there so you have the axillary axillary means the armpit axillary means the armpit okay then you have brachial 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 means arm brachial means arm then antecubital front of elbow right front of elbow now if you take this uh, upper limb so this part is called the arm this part is called the forearm and then uh, uh, down you have the hand arm forearm hand okay good so again now if you talk about the lower limbs the buttocks okay so then here the buttocks is called gluteus or the gluteal region okay gluteus or the gluteal region right so then you have the lower limbs okay so lower limbs you have the thighs and then you have the leg and then you have the foot right so then uh, back of the knee is called the popliteal back of the knee is called the uh, popliteal right then the calf is called the sural okay the calf is called the sural and then <clears throat> heel is called the calcaneus calcaneus then you have the sole or the foot is called plantar okay so this is you understood right so this is the lower limb and the gluteal region lower limb and the gluteal region right so again the upper limb i told you so the front um, uh, here you have the uh, in the front you have the arm then you have the forearm and you have the hand okay right all right good here you have the shoulder acromial so acromial joint so cephalon or the cephalic means head right um, then the neck you have cervical okay so i hope you have learned a lot so again loin lumbar where you have the loin 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 means the lumbar area so where you have the kidneys okay all right students so i hope you all learned a lot today these are my references hope you enjoyed my lecture see you in the next section thank you